All right, welcome guys. Today's video brought me back up here to Ayotia and we're gonna check out a temple, Wat Maheyong or something like that. It's another one of these ancient temples that predates Ayutthaya, and uh, it was, uh, I guess, built around 1438 or so, and it has a lot of history to it, and it's part of the six temple tour that you can buy for a ticket for 220 baht. So it's 50 baht to get in if you just wanna buy a single ticket for a foreigner. Anyway, uh, this is like such a cool area. Uh, as you can see behind me, it's just kind of surreal. You're just out here and there's these temples, the chetis and ruins and everything sticking up. So let's go through this temple and let's see what it looks like. And I'm pretty excited. It just looks uh, really nice. So let's see what we see. Yeah, this might be worth uh, trekking through some of the little bit of brush to go see. But that's right next to the temple that we're gonna check out. And you can see here, you can see the wall and uh, some of the chetties and then one of the big ordination halls and some of the other chetties that are in there. So let's go uh, tramps around a little and bit. Here's the entrance way. The gate's still in pretty nice shape. Part of it's fallen off, the top archway is gone. This is nice. Just the walkway here. Looks like a bunch of people have stopped taking some pictures. And then uh, one of the chetties. Now there's uh, a lot of influence from Sri Lanka in this temple. You can see the bell-shaped chetty, which is a uh, style that was brought in from Sri Lanka to Thailand and you see that a lot in the early Ayutthaya period and then this uh, chetty over here the very top of it is gone but you can see the bell on the bottom this is cool it's uh, with this uh, stone walkway I haven't seen one like this in a temple before and you see it's in still pretty decent shape I guess this temple was restored in uh, 1711 major renovations took place and several of these temples on this side of Ayutthaya had been uh, restored then. Let's wait for these guys to take their pictures. So what's cool about this walkway now if you could imagine back in the old days when you would have came down this walkway there would have probably been a Buddha sitting right there at the end and then you could see just the head of another one that would have been inside this main ordination hall. So this would have been a spectacular view. And you know, most people were uh, just farmers. So it was a humongous deal to come to the temple and to see a spectacular temple like this would have been, would have been really nice. So as I was saying, this was restored in 1711 and it took him three years to restore this temple complex. And like a couple of the others in this area, Wat Kuti Dao, like the Temple of the Star and a couple of the others were restored in the same time period. And you can see the chetties around. But this building here is colossal. Very nice. Let's go up and see inside of it. I can see just the top of a Buddha head sticking up. I'm not sure what that sign says. You can see it's kind of, the walkway around is kind of bowed in. And then you can see the marker stones there. What is there, uh, eight, eight chetties, it looks like around. Okay, so we're up here into the temple. And I think I figured out what that sign said. I think it said to take off your shoes since you are coming into a temple with the Buddha. Wow, I can hear an echo. So here is inside of this hall. And it is gigantic, holy cow, this is big. Some of the plaster still remaining on the wall, but not a whole lot is left. And then the 
window supports and everything. Not in too bad a shape. The termites haven't ate them all completely away. And a little bit of the plaster where they made them into these like uh, eight, eight sided uh, beams. Some of that is still on it, but most of it has fallen off. And so here would have been the pedestal for the Buddha. All of that would have been right up here. And the foundation has settled quite a bit on this building, but the walls are still intact. And the Buddha would have been facing to the east. This is the east over this way. Wow, this is really nice. So this is the view from up on that center building around the little walkway. Now you wouldn't want to come here whenever it's a really, really hot day. It's pretty warm today, but not super hot. Walking around inside this building is, uh, the floor is quite warm. Maybe if you brought socks or something like that, you'd be all right. Okay, so you can see the, the work around the, the windows. A little bit of the plaster remains. Most of it's just the, the brickwork. And I got a pigeon up above that window. Yeah, this ruin is still in amazing shape. You can see all the bell-shaped chetties. Now what I was reading about was that they have uh, the elephants that are around one of them over here. That's really similar to uh, one of the temples at Sisa Chanalai and at Kam Kampeng Pet. And it's uh, an influence again from uh, some of the Sri Lankan. Wow, look at that chetty at the top. That is really nice. The very top has come off, but look at the, the work around the top of the, uh, or the bottom of that onion. Wow, that's really nice. All right, let's go walk over here and see this. So another look at the outside of this building. It is just gigantic and all of it is just the uh, bricks. So it's amazing that even after being abandoned for 300 plus years, or not 300 years when it was abandoned, but uh, being remodeled in 1711, and this temple was abandoned when the Burmese came. So in uh, 1767, when the city fell, this temple was abandoned. And it is, I don't know, 30, 30 meters tall or so. It's, it is huge. Okay, so here's the chetty. Looks like part of the top of one is down on the ground. And they've done a nice job with keeping all of this. And let's look at this building again. So it is 17 meters by 35.2 meters. That's how big that building is. And I don't know exactly how tall it is, but it's tall. Okay, so here is the chetty with all of the elephants around the base. And if anybody's seen my video of Sisa Chanalai, one of the most famous temples there in that historic park has all of these elephants. I really like this. This is, this is so fun. The creativity that they've done with the brickwork. I always love this. Let's see, this one here looks like it's in okay shape. Some of them have kind of completely fallen apart. You see the detail work with the ears and the eyes and then around like the legs and stuff. That is so much fun. And then whatever was on this wall, the little uh, plaster, most of it has fallen off. Okay. And here's the top of the chetty. And then they had uh, some Buddhas, some seated Buddhas all around. Yeah, this is nice. Let's see if any of them are better shape than these. These have kind of completely weathered away. And the rail around this jetty. 
I still see some of the plaster, how it was set up with the bricks. And another chetty over there. That one has still quite a bit of plaster on it. Yeah, that one's in nice shape also. Yeah, that's really nice. And you see where there's a tree that's growing right at the top. And let's look at this chetty again. And it looks like just mainly the, the legs and a few little parts of the Buddhas that were surrounding this. Yeah, this is really nice. It's, uh, I mean, for 50 baht, you can't, I mean, you can't complain about that at all. It is 10 baht for ties to come in here and they don't accept uh, work permits or anything like that. So just a foreigner pays the times five price of the ties. And I believe this still has part of the working temple that's back there in the trees. I might try to go see what it looks like after this. And all the elephants around the base of this chetty on the other side. Yeah, this is nice. And another chetty over here by the tree. So here is on the uh, west side of this. Now check that out. You can still see they had some of the plaster with this elephant and then they had it decorated with some uh, some red you can see that on a couple of these that's nice now there's 20 uh, elephants and there would have been 20 buddha images on each side and what this is is this definitely is the sri lankan influence because they actually believe that uh, like in their mythology that elephants supported the center of the earth i mean they were gigantic animals that uh, could carry a lot of weight so they believed in that and you can see some of that in this also oh, that's nice so the, these would have had some Buddha on these uh, pedestals right here and then this Chetty over here I really like that one that one's nice and the outer wall still in really nice shape the very tops of the arches have gone, but most of it's still intact. And then this is the other side with the elephants. And they would have had a Buddha in there. Yeah, this would have been really nice. So you can see some of the detail work that used to be in there. Maybe this one over here is in a little better shape. I think it is. So they would have had had the elephant right here with the little Buddha behind it. Oh, that's nice. Take a look at these entry gates. This one's very nice. You see, it's still almost all intact. The plaster and stuff has fallen off, but the bricks are all still here. And then you can see the outer perimeter wall. Yeah, the footprint of this temple is pretty big. So there would have been probably a few more buildings and stuff in here. But mainly what you see now are just the, the little stupas and then that main ordination hall. And then it had an inner wall. So they had a million bricks that they've that they used in building this temple. Okay, so looks like there is a stairwell that would take you into the chetty. And there's a temple dog up there inside. You can't climb the steps, so there might be an old Buddha in there. Can't really see just past the dog. Looks like he's coming down. There he goes. So he was up in amongst there. And here's one of the bases of one of the buildings. So this would have been a prayer hall or a vihara, I believe is what they would have called this. And you can see here's the supports for the roof. And so they would have had a Buddha in here somewhere. So here's the inner wall. You can see the plaster on this corner. 
and then the row of there's three of the chetties and then another one of the prayer halls here just the base same as on the other side and then the fourth chetty and then this is that corridor where you walk down when you first come and it says it's for the uh, royal family so the king or whoever could use this corridor and walk down and then it had the lotus buds at the top that would have been the styling of it and then one more look here around the chetties the center building looks like a lady monk's going inside and then this wall yeah, this is a brilliant temple all right so that finishes up our tour of this old ruin this was fantastic this is really really nice the uh interest fee was 50 baht and it's well worth it come here and you can walk around and you can see you know the old ruin and kind of get a nice feel of what it was like when this was actually in operation i uh, definitely would recommend to come over here now it is part of the uh, six temple ruins so if you buy the the main ticket in uh like in the historical park you can go see like see sam pet and mahahat and a couple of the other temples that includes this one now this one is off the island so if you want to get over here you either have to uh, ride a bike or a motorcycle or hire a tuk-tuk something like that and that will bring you to this temple but i would recommend it it's uh, it's definitely worth it it's uh, not as like spectacular as like see sam pet but it's still really nice and uh, anyway, guys, if you uh, like the video, make sure you click like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you've been here, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. And uh, if you want me to go see something different, tell me also in a comment. And as always, guys, remember, life is a journey. So enjoy. Okay, so after exploring the... Uh, the ruins i came back in here to the active part of this temple and what it is is it's basically a buddhist retreat so they have a bunch of places out here amongst the trees for uh, all the novice monks and all the lady monks and stuff that are out here meditating and uh, trying to get to enlightenment and then they're building a gigantic temple back on the back side of it so it looks like they're a couple years away from being done with it and uh as you can see, just uh, it's a lot of area like this right behind me. So they have uh, chairs and stuff like that set up amongst the, uh, the trees so people can just relax and uh, kind of meditate and uh, get their thoughts together, I guess. There's quite a bit to it. There's a big like reflecting lake. They have a Buddha mountain and they have some other stuff. And then right behind me, this is the massive temple that they're building. So it's a, quite a sprawling complex. There's nothing really like wow, like to uh, really focus on. Just kind of nice to walk through here and see what everything is. You can see here in front, these are everybody just sitting out on some chairs or on some rocks meditating. And they'll wear the white. And then they have a, like a Buddha statue here. with uh, like the wheel that you see and some of the old like uh, Khmer type stuff would have that wheel. All right, so let's go and uh, let's do something different now. This was pretty fun to walk through.